so Carson wrote, Hey Justin, my name is Carson, and I just wanted to reach out because I watched their YouTube videos when I was trying to decide if I wanted to go to UC Santa Cruz for film. I saw you transfer to Chapman for their film production, which is what I'm hoping to do as well. I was wondering if you have any tips as to what you believe made you a strong candidate. I'd love to hear what you think about the two universities' film programs in comparison as well, if you have the time. So for Carson and for those who are wondering the differences in film programs between UC Santa Cruz and Chapman, this video is for you. Well, first of all, I don't really know why I was accepted to Chapman. The only reason why I could think of is because, well, I had a strong GP at UC Santa Cruz and I had a really strong letter of recommendation and my essays were simple and honest. I'll go more in depth in the next video. So in terms of the differences between film programs, at UCSC you have to know that UC Santa Cruz is a uh, liberal arts oriented university. So when it comes to films, you're learning about the theory of films compared to learning about production side of it. So the only major related to film was film and digital media, whereas at Chapman, well first of all Chapman has a school for film, hence film school, which is called Dodge College of Film and Media Arts, and there are a total of eight different majors compared to one at UCSC. At UCSC, I took Intro to Film Studies, Intro to Digital Media, Special Topics in Film and Digital Media, and Intro to Media Theory. And in all of these classes that I took, I did not get to produce or make any films, but rather watched a lot of films and analyzed them and wrote essays about them. Especially for the Media Theory class, I read a lot about film theory, obviously, and philosophical readings to do with, like, the film gaze. And at that point, I thought UCSC's film major was more related to film literature. <laughs> UCSC has a film production class, but there's only one, I believe, and there's another documentary production class, but you have to meet certain requirements before enrolling. As a result, many students typically enroll in the course during their junior or their senior year. Contrast at Chapman, the introductory class, FDV 130, involves creating four films right from the start, and it's a freshman class, so you are getting hands-on filmmaking experience right away at Chapman. And regarding opportunities like working on a film set, at UCSC there seems to be a student-organized initiative, often through a club. However, there are only one or two such opportunities available at the school. And in contrast, at Chapman, students are required to participate in film sets through courses like Directing One, Audio Techniques, which are classes I'm actually going to be taking next semester. So if you are taking classes like Audio Techniques, you actually for class have to participate in a film set and be either a boom mic operator or a sound mixer. And additionally, even outside of these mandatory experiences, students can join film sets independently due to the abundance of student films happening everywhere. Um, particularly with seniors working on their film production major senior thesis films. The limited availability of such opportunities definitely played a significant role in my transfer decision. UCSC has a great film program, but it's not, you know, structured as a dedicated film school. Again, it's like much more like a film research major. The huge campus also makes it challenging to find specific opportunities that fit your needs. Coupled with the considerable differences in tuition, aspiring filmmakers are likely to have a distinct experience. I'm going to talk about the overall student experience here at Chapman. Honestly, I love this school because, you know, you're quite surrounded by people with similar passions. Um, you live in dorms with people who are in Dodge College. And something that really made me fall in love with Chapman was the quality of the students. Everyone here seems really humble, um, probably because we are all almost mostly USC film school rejects. But hey, I heard a lot of stories about USC's film school. Things are very cutthroat, and personally, I don't really F with the uh, competitive vibes, especially when you're working on a creative field. You wanna be in a very supportive environment, full of people with great energy, and that is exactly what Chapman students are. Again, I don't go to USC, so I can't say things off my ass, but people are often left out because you have to be the top 1% in your class to have people invite you to film sets. And if that's true, at Chapman, you are never going to feel left out. I had countless times when my peers literally offered me to participate in different opportunities, such as being in a high quality film set and participating in a club. I describe Chapman as a place where, you know, without even asking, fellow students are here to support you and support one another to help each other succeed. If I had started my college journey at Chapman, it would have been nice, but I don't really regret spending my two years at UC Santa Cruz. I actually really love the experience. I think you won't really know until you actually go there um, because it was such a unique experience for me and for everyone else. So I will actually recommend people to experience UCSC's film program or even the school itself before transferring to another institution. And especially if money is a problem as well because Chapman is expensive compared to UCSC's in-state tuition. At UC Santa Cruz, my parents had to pay the full international student tuition, which was about 70 grand, which is wild to think because I'm paying 70 grand 
for a public university, which also cost more than Chapman's full tuition. But Chapman also granted me a scholarship because I was an international student. So, so Chapman was like, hey, you're an international student. We'll help you out. And UCSC never did that. So for my side of things, I'm paying way less for a better film program. So I guess things worked out for me. And I know that Chapman's transfer application is due early February. So if anyone has any questions, feel free to comment down below or shoot me an email. Uh, or I mean, sorry, a message on Instagram and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more film school content. My next video is going to be an in-depth guide on transferring to Dodge College. So make sure to stay tuned for that video. I'll see you guys in the next video.